Good evening, I'm Lee Anderson. Since 1987, Oregon's had a Democratic governor at the helm, but nearly a dozen Republican candidates are vying to change that next year. Some of those candidates gathered here in Bend tonight for a public forum hosted by the Deschutes County Republicans. Alec Nolan was at the event. He joins us now with the details. Alec? Lee, five of those candidates, including a Bend man, met at the Bend Elks Lodge tonight for a meet and greet. And it was also a chance to debate various topics challenging the state. For nearly four decades, Oregon's been led by a Democratic governor. But Republican candidates want to change that in 2022. With so many announcing they will be in the running for Oregon's next governor, we wanted to know how the Republican candidates here are going to stand out in such a crowded race. One of those hopefuls is Ben's Brandon Merritt, who is just one of five GOP candidates who met at the Bend Elks Lodge for a chance to debate issues challenging the state. Ultimately, I think it boils down to authenticity. The four others in attendance include small business owner Amber Richardson, Baker City Mayor Carrie McQuiston, ALSI School Superintendent Mark Thielman, and conservative consultant Bridget Barton. Some of the questions posed to candidates focused on topics like education, critical race theory, reproductive rights, and taxes across the state. By executive order, I would ban critical race theory in schools immediately. Candidates like Barton and Thielman said they believe an executive order is needed to get rid of critical race theory across public schools. When CRT was brought to me by my staff many, many years ago, um, they said, we got to do this. And I said, uh, well, we, we could, but no. And when it came to reproductive rights, all the candidates say they're unabashedly and unapologetically pro-life. If I go and have an abortion, I am not the one who dies. My baby would die. Your tax dollars should not be funding this. Others, like Amber Richardson, say taxes have hurt people like herself, and something needs to change for the middle class to survive. I am a small business owner, and I have been hurt very badly with a lot of these taxes and regulations. I also have to listen to a board, and with my board, they change it every two years. They give me another regulation or another fee. And with the state still facing a pandemic, candidates like Merritt are done with mask and vaccine mandates. The reality is we are coming out of this pandemic and there's no science behind the fact that we're putting masks on children in the most horrible years of their lives. Meanwhile, the Democratic field is packed too. Today, a former New York Times reporter threw his hat into the ring. Nicholas Kristof grew up in Yamhill County. He's running as a Democrat with eight other candidates. Lee.